neatly folded in the corner of Norman Rockwell's mind. New Orleans is a hurricane beating down your coast. But if you, if you close your eyes and feel the easy ride of the St. Charles streetcar, where solo tuba blows the scent of magnolias down narrow streets and everyone plays possum with the heat and no one's too big or too small to paint their tongue with a snowball, 
where former slaves pay homage to the first Americans by masking in suits of rhinestones and bright colored feathers that turn carpenters into Indian chiefs doing rain dances Mama! on Congo Square where the drums drum and the wine drink and the big chief sang. Somebody give me a quarter, cause pretty big chief wants some water. If you can envision the souls of yesterday living in the music that rises from the cracks in the sidewalk, the New Orleans is your dream, with a heart as soft as the Spanish moss dripping from centuries-old oak trees. Yeah, yeah. She's a pretty face with dirty feet. Yeah. The good witch of Lake Pontchartrain, the spice god of shrimp and crawfish, keeping the spirits fed. Communities of windowless monuments masquerade in a cemetery tower above ground. No earth or worms to cover the flesh, no silver bullets to turn out the spirits that still dance with her. So twirl your umbrella and wave your bandana. It's carnival time and everybody's happy. Can I get a wish? Yeah. The new world stormed in with enough cement and asphalt to pave a boulevard back to Paris. And the spirit of the swamp still hasn't submitted, leaving mildewed kisses of disapproval on everything far into the wetlands. Catholicism cannot turn out the spirit of Marie Laveau. The Wrecking Ball could not turn out the spirit of Storyville, and Seth could not turn out the spirit of Louis Armstrong. Yeah. 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 So yesterday hangs on to forever. Tradition is a temple. Let's go get our yeah. yeah.
y'all know something. If you're not from New Orleans, uh, what you see right here has been a part of the New Orleans like cultural yeah. landscape for at least uh, over 150 years. Yeah. And so yeah. It is, it's like African Americans who mask as Native Americans. Yeah. And they take it very serious too. So if you want to insult one of them, you'd ask them about their costumes. See, they'd be like, well, they don't wear costumes. It's like a, they refer to it as an Indian suit. So. Oh, oh, Seriously, right? But even like the drumming and stuff like that, just right, uh, right over here, like maybe like four or five blocks that way. That's where Congo Square was. Congo. So one of the difference between this place and other places in the country is that uh, like Africans here were on Sunday at the very least they were allowed to sing and dance and to drum. And so like this sort of drumming, you know, for for years and a couple hundred years, you probably every Sunday you can go over there and you could hear that sort of stuff, you know. And so since this was certainly a part of the Creolized world with all this different stuff coming together and bumping into each other, well, the, the Mardi Gras Indians, that was born out of that. And other things like jazz and when you look at social aid and pleasure clubs. So when you come to New Orleans and it feels so different, that's like one of the reasons, right? And so anyway, we do one more song and then we get Brother Chuck, Brother Chuck, Brother Chuck, Brother Chuck. Brother Chuck. Brother Chuck. Brother Chuck. Yeah. One more song. Oh, Chuck. Introduce the birthday man. Oh. Uh. <laughs> for Todd Rudman, yeah. Yeah. You got anything you want to say? I want to say this has been... It isn't even my birthday yet. <laughs> <laughs> and look what I got here. Susan, I got to thank you so much. This is just a twinkle in her eye. She made it happen. I'm so thankful for you guys. Special day for us, and thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Th